Hello and welcome to Miracle Farm 1927 Homestead. We are talking about lamps, oil lamps again today. We've had some questions and we're going to try to answer them for you. So stay tuned. Okay, we've had some uh, questions uh, from some of our viewers. I mean, a lot of questions. And I didn't know people were so interested in oil lamps. But And I am absolutely no expert, but I want to try to help you and give you some of the information that uh, may help you along. But there's a lot of uh, manufacturers on the Internet that you can still get parts for. And uh, so you won't have, even if you have a really old lamp, you'll have no problem getting parts for it or replacement parts, not the original parts. So that's some decisions that you got to make. So what I'm going to do right now is we're just going to go through some a few basic parts. Now this oil lamp is old. It has no replacement. None of the parts on it have been replaced. And if you have an old lamp, um, a lot of the information will be right here on your thumb wheel. That's the little wheel that makes your wick go up and down. So it'll have the manu it usually will have the manufacturer's uh, name on here and where it's made, uh, especially if it's an old one. Um, so that's, a, that's the first place I'd look. Sometimes they have them up here on the burner, but most of the time they... They want you to see it, so that was the only place that you could uh, uh, put it. So what I'm going to do right now is on this lamp, I'm going to give you a little rundown of the parts. First, we have the chimney. This whole piece right here is called the burner. So on this older one that is uh, not been replaced, it has a little shield over the wick. Has a little lip, and they're usually stuck, and it'll come right out. The whole thing will come off. Well, it's not going to today. And I'm not going to force it because, like I said, this is an old one. It has ventilation. Oh, did you see that? You saw that, didn't you? Come right off has little ventilation holes up here. Here's your wick, of course. The name of this right here that holds the wick is the wick tube. Now, this is where you're going to have most of your problems on the old lamp, is somewhere in this tube. You have your thumb wheel, and it's usually kind of stiff. And I'm going to insert a picture of inside this wheel goes all the way through and it's got some little burrs on it that grab hold of your uh, wick. And uh, I'm going to try to insert a picture right here. This is... This is the thumb wheel, and this is inside here is the wick wheel. Okay. So most, if not all, from what I've seen, the whole burner screws off. This is where you would take it off to fill it. And most of the time, I do not take it all the way off. I just lay it to the side. And this little piece on the inside, it's usually out of some kind of metal or brass. Right here, it's called the collar. And 
the burner has a little screw on it and that you just screw it right in. Now, some of the other problems that we have is that this is what's frozen on the, on the uh, whole burner. The burner won't lift off. You can use pretty much force on this because this is tough. This part is not tough, but this part is tough and try to screw it off. But there's where you've got to start making some decisions. And I'll tell you about those in just a minute. This, this right here, the part that holds the uh, uh, kerosene or the um, lamp oil is called the uh, fount. This right here where you carry it is called the stem and the bottom of it is called the base. Now they've got a whole lot more parts than that, but that's the basic uh, parts. So if you were trying to look for a part, that's what you'd be, that would be the names of it. So we're going to go ahead and light this one. I have the uh, wick up. And it's going let it sit. Don't immediately put your chimney on. Let it get lit. It's going to have black smoke. And then bring it back down with your thumb screw. And put it down just a little bit lower than what you would normally burn it. Because as soon as you put the chimney on, it protects it. And the light goes up a little bit. So I'll roll it back up for your normal light. Okay, so there's all your parts. Now, I've gotten these at hardware stores. This is the one where I showed you inside where it's got the wick wheel and the little grabbers in there. And when you have a new wick, you put it up through the bottom. And those little grabbers will start grabbing, if you go the right way. See, it'll just grab your wick, and it'll come out this side. There you go. And that's pretty simple, unless this part is broken. Sometimes this part and this part are two different parts, and this just keeps spinning, and the only thing you can do, like I said, you're going to have to make some decisions. This is original. This lamp that I showed you is original. But this one is brand new. And you have to make some decisions. Here is an original. This is an old lamp. And it's beautiful, but this part is broken, and maybe I can get it welded or fixed, but because I'm not going to put a replacement, some of these replacements might fit right in here, but I'm not going to because I want to keep this as original. It's even the chimney on it's even broken. But this, this I know is way over 100 years old, and I just don't want to take away from that. It's even got a, the, I uh, can't even fill it up because this is just rusted to the glass, and that's okay. Some of them use, but these I use all the time. Our power just, if, around Christmas, the uh, power went out, all the um, lamps were full, ready to go. And so we used them. The ones that you're going to use, you may have to replace these parts. And just notice on your lamp, whether it's got, the burner has the many little holders in it, but most of them just have the four holders. And uh, you can get them to where they still look, they still look antique. And 
the the main part of your lamp is is the most important part anyway and that part is still antique and uh, you've just got to make the decisions on whether you want to replace these parts and you might tear up some of it like the little screw in part down here you may mess it all up on the lamp and have to get that part many little holders in it but most of them just have the four holders and uh, you can get them to where they still look they still look antique and the the main part of your lamp is is the most important part anyway and that part is still antique and uh, you've just got to make the decisions on whether you want to replace these parts and you might tear up some of it like the little screw in part down here you may mess it all up on the lamp and have to get that part my viewers or one of my viewers had parts from the let's see it's the plummet and atwood lamp company and i know that her lamp is old because this company was in business from 1854 to 1960s so the newest her lamp can be is 1960. so she might she's going to have to make some decisions do you want to keep your lamp all original or do you want to get some replacement parts the the good thing is the p and a manufacturing company has a great website and they have all kinds of replacement parts for their lamps so she would very well be able to uh, uh, get original parts for her lamp but you might not be able to you might just have a lamp that you don't even know where it comes from so you wouldn't be able to get the original parts but i wanted to help you guys i don't know if this helped any but it's just a little bit of information. Oh, well, see, we left off a part. The little cover. There we go. Back on there. I had some good uh, thoughts and ideas from other viewers about using solar lights in the house, which that's a great idea. Just keep them outside and put them in a little vase or something. You can carry them around. That's the perfect thing for kids. That's absolutely the best thing in the world for kids. Now, they're not going to give off a whole lot of light, but they do. they're just as good as carrying around a little candle. But if you've got teens and stuff, they can have a candle. And... Like I said, these aren't really the ones that you want to carry around a lot. They are heavy, uh, but you can carry them around. And just be careful. It's a two-hand job. That's what, I, that's what I tell my kids. And they fuss at me, oh, Mom, you're carrying it with one hand. Carry it with two hands, just so if you trip or anything, you've got both hands on this thing. We just want to be safe. But we also, in being safe, that's being able to have light when the lights go out. Because... Uh, you may have batteries, you may have flashlights, but they might not last. You don't want to use all that up. And these will light up a whole room for hours and hours and hours. We had our lights off for a couple hours. Uh, we lit up the wood stove and, well, no, first we lit our lamps, then we lit up the wood stove and we were absolutely comfortable and ha actually had company over and was able to enter continue to entertain our guests because the wood stove was keeping our food warm and these had the lights on. So um, if you have any more questions, I'm going to do my best to answer them. And like I said, this company, the P&A Manufacturing Company, has parts, has lamps, has a lot of information. Like if you need to see pictures of the part that you're thinking about, that's a good place to go. Another place to go is Lehman's. They have... They have the reproduction parts, which is fine. If these are like utilitarian lamps, I'm using them. So, but for my for my pretty lamp that I want to keep as just you know, it's it's just something to be pretty. Like I said, I might I might be able to find parts for it and fix it. My husband, he's a MacGyver, he can fix just about anything. But right now, I've got plenty of lamps, and we're just leaving this as it was a gift, 
and I'm just going to leave it uh, as it is. This was made in the USA by Aladdin. So I think Aladdin Company is still, still making lamps. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you can get parts for them. So uh, don't despair if you've got a frozen part. You just make the decision. If, uh, if you want to go ahead and try to uh, put a replacement part on it, or just keep it as a pretty. So bye guys, hope this helped. Blessings. <laughs>